Hello, my name is Dr. Jason Folk. I'm going to speak with you today about the microfracture procedure. The purpose of this video is to outline the technical aspects, the indications, the benefits, and post-operative expectations of this procedure. Microfracture surgery is an orthopedic surgical technique that can help restore knee cartilage by creating tiny fractures in the adjacent bones. This enables new cartilage to develop. It can be used to treat both degenerative knee problems as well as cartilage injuries, and has gained a high profile in the sports world in recent years. Numerous professional athletes, including members of the NBA, NFL, and NHL, have undergone this procedure. The surgery is quick, taking around 30 minutes. It is minimally invasive and has significantly shorter recovery times than an arthroplasty, which is a knee replacement. Combined with a high rate of success, these factors have caused orthopedic surgeons to use the procedure with increasing frequency. The surgery was developed in the late 1980s and early 1990s by Dr. Richard Stedman of the Stedman Hawkins Clinic in Vail, Colorado. Stedman and physicians, including our own Jay Rodrigo, have slowly refined the procedure through research. After Stedman experienced success with the surgery, professional athletes started taking notice. Originally, the surgery was called controversial by many sports writers due to a lack of studies on the long-term effects and the fact that an unsuccessful surgery could end an athlete's career. However, research has proven that compared to other treatments, the procedure is safe and effective, even in the long term. The surgery is performed through an arthroscope, which is a small camera inserted through very small pinky fingernail incisions. We first remove any unhealthy or unstable tissue. Next, we remove the calcified cartilage layer that overlies the bone. Tiny fractures are then created in the adjacent bones through the use of an awl. Blood and bone marrow, which contains stem cells, seep out of the fractures, creating a blood clot. This blood clot releases cartilage-building cells. The microfractures are treated as an injury by the body, which is why the surgery results in new replacement cartilage. The procedure does have limitations and is less effective in treating older patients, overweight patients, or cartilage damage that is greater than two and a half centimeters, or roughly one inch. Recovery. Current studies have shown a success rate of 75 to 80 percent among patients 45 years of age or younger, even among professional athletes. With the help of physical therapy, patients can often return to sports or other intense activities in about four months. However, this is a best case scenario and depends on the severity of the cartilage damage and any other conditions that exist in the knee. After the microfracture procedure, patients are required to use crutches for a period of between six and eight weeks. During this time, the patient is kept non-weight bearing. During the early postoperative period, a continuous passive motion machine is used to keep the knee moving back and forth. This does many things. It helps reduce swelling, reduce inflammation, and helps mature the cartilage clot. The early emphasis on rehab is regaining the knee's range of motion and mobility. At the point that the patient is made weight-bearing, resisted motion and strengthening is begun. The patient then progresses to activity and sport-specific exercises. The microfracture procedure maintains very good clinical results and outcomes, even when compared to more expensive and costly operations that involve multiple procedures. We thank you for your attention during this video and hope it has been informative.